What is up, YouTube? I had the most productive day ever, literally. Cleaned up the entire house, got rid of a bunch of clothes I haven't used in a while, got rid of lots of stuff, went through my trailer and got rid of some things in there that I didn't need, took all the, pretty much everything out of there. Um, I didn't really winterize it, so I'm working on that which is not good because it's the middle of winter. <laughs> I've also been packing because I'm actually going on a little mini adventure. So as you can see here, I'm packing everything up. Shotgun, this entire thing is filled with jackets. I have a backpack, backpack for Brookie, kitty litter. <laughs> um, what else, I got food. Oh, let's, let's say hi to her real quick. Hi. That means hello, huh, Brooke? Hi. Somebody slept all day long. This is the box of miscellaneous bullets I've put together from bullets I've found all over the place. <laughs> I gotta shoot them all. But before I load all this stuff up in my truck and get out of here, there is one thing I wanna show you guys and I'm really, really excited about it because I've been searching for something like this for at least three years. Since I've been living in Utah and traveling back to New Jersey, I've been looking for this so bad. It is a brand new bow case. It's called the Everest 44 from Legend Archery. Ah! And let me show you how cool it is just because I'm so excited. First, let's take a look at the old bow case, shall we? Okay, so finding a good bow case is really hard. And I'll be honest, this one just sucks. I've used it for so long because I haven't been able to find a good roller one because that's what I want because I'm, I usually have this and at least two other bags or another bag and a cooler when I'm traveling for hunting. And I just look like an idiot carrying this in the airport. And I have to stop like every 15 feet because sometimes if it's like 30, 40 pounds, it's really, really hard to carry this in one hand and drag two bags in the other. My mom actually made fun of me. I told her I was so excited I was getting a new bow case and she was like, oh my God, I wish I had you at the airport on video. You didn't think it was funny, but I was dying laughing. It's true. I didn't think it's funny. I'm like suffering, you know, I'm like, help. <laughs> As you can see with these, all I can fit is tiny little stuff on the sides and the arrows are unprotected over there, which is not ideal. I don't like that. The quiver has to come off and there's really just no room or organization for anything. All right, so now let's compare that to the new bow case. First of all, it's roller. I'm scaring Brookie a little bit. Second of all, it is extremely lightweight. Let me show you this way. Look at that. <laughs> it's so light. It's incredible. Cause that other one is so plasticky and bulky. So it has all these pockets on the outside, which is really, really cool. But let's look at the inside, shall we? So zippers open, you can also lock it with a TSA approved lock if you're traveling through airplane. Keep in mind, I keep mentioning an airplane because I do travel to hunt. Um, even if you don't travel to hunt, I would never ever personally carry around a bow without a bow case. So I'm excited for this because not only can I travel with this, but this is my brand new all around do everything bow case, going to the range, going to my trailer, bringing it somewhere to shoot, all those things I do quite frequently. Brookie. <sighs> and this is just a really great one for it and I'm gonna show you why. I like sharing all my like new hunting finds with you guys because you guys are so like-minded. By the way, this is just some range stuff that I also got while I was buying this from Legend Archery. This is for my arrows. Green's my favorite color. Okay, so it comes with plenty of extra accessory straps, 
But let me show you some of the cool key components where you're going to be like, wow, they actually literally thought of everything. Okay. So they have cam protectors. These little things are Velcro. You can put almost anything in here. We're gonna figure out where these go too. This is my first time like opening in it and using it. So we're gonna figure this out together. Okay, so let's just give a little tour before I start putting my bow in there. So, as if it wasn't cool enough, it actually holds two bows and I'm gonna show you guys how. It has this cool little folding compartment to separate everything. And then in here, it straps down and everything. Is an arrow case, just what I was complaining about. Look how cool. I love it, such an ingenious idea. And look, it goes to different lengths and stuff. That is so cool. And it has a perfect little compartment right in there. And then look at all of these compartments. We're gonna open them up and I'll show you guys too. But then this little mat thing here can separate so that you can put multiple bows in. One moment. All right, so I got the Pro Defiant. Let's see how this fits in here. Oh my gosh. All right. Another thing, just because I've used that case, opened it and closed it probably 40,000 times. You have to get the bow just right. It can only go one way. It's kind of a pain in the butt. That just went in there so easy. Hey! <laughs> and I really like that. Rookie! Get back. Rookie cannot be kept around bows because she'll bite the strings. I've watched her go in for it before, and she can't be trusted. Get back. Get back. Okay, so I know that that one bow can go in there and strap down. These to me look like they fit in here. And yeah, I think that is what it's for. Rookie, you're really ticking me off. Right, something like that. And then these are to protect the cams. So I'm just doing a little, a really rough um, representation. Well, let's be real, guys. We're spending like thousands of dollars on bows. You want to make sure it's protected. Not only for the fact that they cost tons of money, also for the fact that if something happens to it and your bow's not shooting straight because you bumped it or banged it or it wasn't as its case good, you're screwed. I've had stuff like that happen. Whenever I travel somewhere, the first thing I do is shoot, make sure my bow's still on from traveling. Even if I'm in a truck on a bumpy road, I worry, but all the accessory straps in here has straps here, straps here, two straps there. Makes me feel like this is gonna be like the safest way I've ever had to, to transport my bow, really. Now let's see, I don't know how it fits too, so we're gonna kind of figure it out together. Rookie scoop. Whoa, I'm slipping. All right, the RX-1. Well, it obviously fits on top really, really easy, but I'm sure there's a way to strap it down. What do you think, Brookie? is incredible. <laughs> Two full-size bows. That's nuts. Imagine the possibilities you could go somewhere to hunt and bring another bow to uh, bow fish. Or you could bring a backup bow. Um, I go to Wild Arrow Archery and every time I go to sell a bow, Jeremiah is like, do you have a backup bow? And he makes such a good point. Like if something happens to your bow, and this does happen to people, and you're on this big hunt that you waited all year for, you can be screwed. Like, I I know one of Eric's friends once, um, 
his like release busted and he couldn't have another one and his was all screwed up stuff like that happened other people like their strings bust or they have malfunctions things break their sights fall off their sights get bumped in transport it is really actually a good thing to have a second bow with you and all these accessory straps and everything you can um, set this all up so it's strapped down let me show you guys it real quick so check this out one bow two bow and it just closes right up that is amazing Brookie that's amazing that's amazing that's amazing okay so what I love about these things too is you can put like your range finder in here you can put little target stickers, you can put your broad heads, everything you need can go on the outside. This is going to save me so much in checked baggage because look, even with two bows, so here, look at all the space on both sides first of all, plus you have all that space up there and your arrows in a safe case. And then... And then in here, look at all the space in here. I could literally fit all my camo in here and not have to bring any other bags. Hopefully just come home with a, full, a cooler full of meat. This is insane. I'm so, so happy I got this. All right, so I just want to tell you guys a couple more things. So it is airline approved. If you take it like this, it will easily be under 50 pounds and it will not count as oversized. I know because I travel with my bow a lot and um, this case is a lot more compact, same length and everything as the other one and it does not count as oversized. So don't let them do that to you. I don't think they would try. But as long as it's under 50 pounds, it's airline approved. Um, it has the little roller wheels. If you use the roller wheels to death, I read the instructions, it says those are replaceable comes with tons of accessory straps and everything is able to be moved around and used for different bows and compatible with all different bows so that's really really cool. I do like all the little extra velcro pockets and stuff and the padding. Like your bow is not getting hurt in here. It's so nice. And if you want this the exact one I got is the Everest 44. Um, carries two bows. Know your bow size before you buy it. I know my bows are both uh, 32 inches axle to axle. Um, I know for sure the RX1 is. The Defiant might be a little smaller, but I feel like it's the same thing. I usually stick with 32 axle to axle for just me personally. I just want to add, um, I'm just reading the instructions and stuff, and the outside is water resistant. Brookie's playing in it, so that's actually pretty cool because Sometimes, especially during hunting season and stuff, if you're traveling and these things are outside getting thrown around, you want it protected from the elements. If it's snowing or raining, I've gotten my bags and my stuff back soaked before and that just sucks. Alright guys, so I'm going to finish the video up and show you a couple more things um, and tell you about where I'm going. I just want to close this out about the case that I just told you about. It is from Legend Archery very cool company run by a very cool man i'm glad i found it because i've been literally searching forever and this one um goes for 250 it sounds like a lot but you get free shipping let me just tell you right now it's worth it because for example a case like mine is over 100 bucks i know eric has a really expensive case as well and it does not even compare eric's is just like a more padded version of mine this is a different breed. I've never seen one be able to own, be able to hold two bows and all this stuff. I literally know of $300 cases that don't even hold nearly as much stuff as this. So trust me, I've been looking around for a very, very, very long time um, just because I've needed one and I bought that one just to kind of hold me over until I found a good one. And I'm really, really glad I found a good one and I want you guys to be able to get it too if you're looking for something like this. Protect your merchandise, you know what I mean? So I worked out a deal with the owner of the company, who's a super nice guy, and he's agreed, and he's agreed to give me 10% off 
but only for 50 people. So if you're watching this, go ahead and try this code. I'm gonna put it right here. It's BR10. Don't mess it up. And I'm gonna put a direct link below for you guys to click so you go right to the site so you don't have any trouble finding it. But BR10 gets you 10% off. There's only 50 of the codes available. So let's see, 10, 20. So you can get it out the door for like 225 bucks, which is not bad at all. It's a steal. So anyway, if you're watching this the day this video goes live, if you're watching this two years from now in 2021, I don't even know, you know, whenever you're watching this, try the code. It's at least worth trying the code and seeing if you can still get 10% off. Maybe he'll leave it open. Maybe he'll close it. You never know. But he did tell me 50 people, so... There's a little bit of initiative. I would try and do it, even if you're not needing one right now because it is kind of the off season. Think about the future. It is gonna be worth it when it comes hunting season. This is gonna be the best case you can have. You can throw this in the bed of your truck, the back of your truck, in your minivan. You can throw this in your trailer. I am so excited to throw this in my trailer because it's just gonna work so much better than that other piece of crap. But anyway, guys, if you did like it, go ahead and click the link below use the code let me know what you think of this case i'm pretty impressed this is like the lamborghini of all bow cases guys i'm gonna end the video right here remember all the information you need is below thanks for watching my video i hope you guys liked it and i hope you liked my new bow case it's almost as tall as me and stay tuned for all the cool adventures that will be going live after this video